Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this one, we're in Midjourney version 5.2. Version 5.2 just released, and I'm gonna show you the brand new forward slash shorten command, or the shorten command. It just launched. The shorten command, in a nutshell, as you'll see here, it allows you to do a few things. One, it allows you to take long prompts, which a lot of us are, and I'm guilty of it, writing really, really long prompts, and it allows you to A, shorten them, obviously, but B, you can actually go in, as you'll see here, and determine the relative weights and values that they've assigned to each word or each token. So if I look at this one here, you'll see it says detailed. It's got a 0 .03, comic, 0 .07, illustration, 0 .02, headpiece, 0 .13, etc., etc. So each word in this long prompt here has been given a value and a weighting. So I'm gonna show you how all of that works. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and get around it. So I'm gonna show you the workaround. So if something in the prompt needs to be increased in value, I'll show you how to do it. So let's just get cracking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste in a long prompt. Here we go. All right, so welcome back. So here we go. This is what our prompt gave us. And again, it's a very long and detailed prompt. Now the next step is we wanna go ahead and write in forward slash shorten. And then we're gonna copy and paste in that exact same prompt. Hit enter. When you do that, you'll see this. It says here important tokens, and then it gives you five options here. So we can select one of these five, and these are just shortened prompts. So what Midjourney's trying to do, and this is version 5.2, is just trying to take your long prompt and turn it into a more succinct, uh, shorter prompt. Now. Let's go a little further here. So I can click one, two, three, four, or five if I want this. Guitarist, cyberpunk, pink. Or I can click on the first one, comic, Colombian girl, etc., etc. If I click on show details, now watch this. It breaks it down into tokens. And tokens, as you are probably aware, are the, uh, the chunks or the pieces that um, AI looks at when they're trying to determine how much value to a portion to a particular word or phrase. So if I look at this here under important tokens, it says detailed 0 0.03, comic 0 0.07, illustration 0 0.02, of a Colombian 0 0.06, etc., etc. So you can tell how much each word is valued, and you can also tell that they're sort of um, yeah, they're they're valued independently. So it's not like Colombian girl revolutionary guitarist. That's basically four different tokens as opposed to one. So it's important to keep that in mind when you when you look at creating your prompts. But anyways, there you go. You'll see here that this is what it's come up with. You'll also notice that it's giving you a graph. And if you look at guitarist, for example, that gave a value of 0.96. So it's nearly a one value. So that is very highly uh, rated. And then you'll also look at the word pink. Where's pink in here? Pink is given a 1.00 value. So there you go. This is the first step in terms of like creating shorter um, shorter prompts, but also understanding what Mid Journey's thinking when it creates a prompt. The next step, I'm gonna show you another thing you can do, is I'm gonna go forward slash imagine, spacebar, and I'm gonna command and paste in that piece again. But watch this, I'm gonna go and start putting in commas, and I'm gonna start putting in double colons so that I give actual values and weights to each end of piece independent based on what I want. So here we go. Detailed illustration of a Colombian girl revolutionary guitarist. Cyberpunk headpiece. So I'm gonna go right here and start here. I'm gonna go colon, colon, cyberpunk. I wanna give that a value of 1.0. So what did I do? I put in colon, colon, 1.0 headpiece. I'm gonna leave that as is pink short hair. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put pink and I'm gonna actually leave pink as it is. I'm gonna put Short, I'm gonna make that a val more valuable. So I'm gonna go colon, colon, and then space 1.0. So it's pink, short hair, but short has been given a 1.00 value, where if you look up here in the original, uh, where is it? It's da -da -da -da. Pink, short hair has a 0.14 value. So I I'm going in and manually changing this. So if you don't get exactly what you want, you can go in here and start making changes. So I like this word vibrant. I'm gonna increase that. So in the current version, Vibrant has, let's see where Vibrant is. Uh, it's not very high. So Vibrant has 0 0.02. So I'm gonna change that, colon, colon, point. I'm gonna go 0.25. And there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And then watch this. It's going to redo this, 
but it's going to go with my token weight, specific token weights. So I'm going to let this process. When it comes back, I'll show you what we got. We'll wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So here are the four that it came up with. And by and large, it's done a pretty good job. It's a little different if we look at it compared to the originals. Not a huge difference, but yeah, a little different. But you'll see here that, for example, when I increase the vibrant score, it's got a nice vibrant look to it. It didn't do a good job with the word short. And I think that's because it's pink short. But uh, there you go. You'll see that I, inc you know, I changed it to 1.0. And, you know, it did its thing. Vibrance up. Uh, let's see what else did we make a change to. Cyberpunk. Yes, we gave a higher value to Cyberpunk, and it does have a nice, cool, cyberpunky look to it. So there you go. This is basically how you can go in and override the values inside Mid Journey version 5.2. Thanks for watching.